Hey guys, so today I'm here with a first look at Firefox 5. Now what Mozilla aims to do with Firefox 5 and indeed all future versions of Firefox is get it on a much speedier release cycle. So instead of waiting 6 months a year for a major update to Firefox, it's going to be very similar to Google Chrome where you get a somewhat moderate update every month, 2 months, something like that. And the first thing that you will see with this is the new version called Aurora. Now Aurora is for all intents and purposes like the dev channel on Google Chrome. Uh, you know it's going to be, you're going to get features before everyone else does, but on the other hand it's certainly going to be buggier and glitchier. So what I'm going to do of course since this is uh, version 5.0, this is currently the alpha 2, I want to give you guys a little overview and kind of tell you guys a little bit about what's, what it's all about. Uh, the first thing of course there will be a download, I will have a, down, a link in the description, you can download the Aurora version. And they will also have a beta once they kind of start getting everything in the pipeline. Of course this is just really starting to come out so this, there's no beta just yet but uh, eventually there will be the Aurora which will be like the dev then you'll be able to go, do the beta and of course just download the standard Firefox uh, the releases that you always do. Uh, so what I want to do is give you guys a little overview about the uh, browser. Now as you can probably notice from here it's very similar to Firefox 4. It, since this is, the, the, this is the dev build they're not done by any means but there are some key improvements especially in performance that I noticed. Uh, so I was able to run a few tests, now keep in mind this is not my full range of tests, I didn't have that much time to do everything, but um, in my quick testing I did notice that uh, Firefox 5 had some pretty significant performance improvements. So in the SunSpider benchmark, it actually was a pretty nice jump from Firefox 4, it actually bested Google Chrome, the current uh, version 10, the non-beta or non-dev or anything like that, so just the standard version of Chrome, it was actually able to beat it out in the SunSpider benchmark. Uh, that's pretty impressive, and if you take a look at the difference between Firefox 4 and 5, and keeping in mind that Firefox 5 is not done by any means, it will most likely be even faster once it finally comes out, it's pretty impressive. Now moving on to the Peacekeeper benchmark, Google Chrome pretty much still stomps uh, Firefox, um, but again Firefox 5 does show some pretty nice improvements over Firefox 4. Uh, so that's most of the, uh, now there are a couple of smaller things, like I'd actually like to show you guys if you take a look, uh, one little peeve that I always get annoyed with other browsers that I, since I always use Chrome is that when you have like a lot of tabs open and you start to close them, well they always resize. So like let's say I want to close all these, well I just start smashing the, the close button and it just closes. But well, as soon as I pull my mouse off, they will resize. So that's just a really small thing that I noticed with this new in Firefox 5. Certainly not a big deal, but as you can see, they're working on little improvements, little you know speed bug fixes, all that kind of good stuff. So anyway, guys, that's about it for my first look at Firefox 5. I definitely stay tuned to the channel. Once it gets a little bit farther along, I will do a new browser test, compare it to all the major browsers, and all that kind of stuff. And if you guys are interested, you can go ahead, hit the link in the description, and download it for yourself.